Bicycle Bernie and welcome to another video by Volt Bicycles on repairing e-bikes. Today we're going to be replacing the controller on a Yukon 750 bike. This is the new controller that we're going to be putting into the Yukon 750 bike. This is 48 volts. Okay, so when you're changing out your controller for your Yukon 750, it's a relatively easy job. These are the tools that are involved. There's just a few of them. You need a three millimeter Allen key and some cable cutters and a few zap strap cables. The first step we're gonna be doing is taking out the battery and that's pretty easy to do. That's step number one, you wanna do that just as a safety issue. Okay, step number three, you want to remove your Velcro chainstay pad. So I'll just show you how that's done. I'm sure you already know how to do this on your bike. It's pretty straightforward. Just take the Velcro off. There's a little uh, cable, black cable under here. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up right on top of my finger, but you wanna cut that off too while you're there. So I'll just cut that. Most likely your bike will have this also. So we'll cut that. Make sure you don't cut into the cable. That would be a bit of a mistake. So just be careful on that. Okay. What you can also do when you're down here is un or disconnect these two cables right here, like so. Okay, the next step that we're gonna be doing is cutting the zap straps. They're mostly located underneath the bicycle. So you're going to have to get your bike in a position where you can get access to this area here. We're gonna cut the cables. Here's one, cut the zap straps. There's one there. You can just discard them after you cut them. That's another one there. Once again, just be careful. You know, you don't wanna cut your cables, your power cables or anything, so before you actually clip it, have a good look. And I think that was all of them for this bike. I think I'll just cut this one here. There you go. Easy as that. The following step is to just gingerly or very carefully pull your power cables out from inside of the frame. You want to be careful on this. You don't want to aggressively yank them. Just be careful and ginger and take your time. Um, they'll most, they'll come out relatively easy, but sometimes they get a little finicky and you just want to be a little careful pulling them out. Okay, so what you want to do at this point is you have your, on your down tube, you have your cable grommet right here. What you want to do is just work this out. Most of the time they come out fairly easy, just like that. And then what you want to do, just to give yourself, the purpose of this is to give yourself just a little more slack on all of these cables here, so that when you do, when you are down here and you're pulling out the main cable, Make sure you've slacked it up enough here. It'll just give you a little more freedom of movement down at that end. So for me, what I've always done is I take off this and that just allows the main cable up top here, a little more movement, a little more freedom. Because I'm going to try to slide it, that main cable through this down tube now. I'll show you how I do that, just by grabbing each end, essentially, the top end and the bottom end. What you wanna do is just slowly, slowly work it out. You might feel a little bit of resistance, that's normal. That cable, the main cable, is usually in there quite tight. And sometimes you have to kind of slide it out, maybe six inches or so, but here, this one comes out now. There it is there. You don't want to pull it much further than that. Um, this is what you're looking for, the connections, and then just disconnect it, like so. Okay, 
Okay, we're just going to finish disconnecting the cables. That's your last step before we actually replace the controller. So most of these are color-coded. You'll see that um, when you unhook them, they kind of match like that. So it's fairly straightforward. You don't have to worry about what goes where. You can usually see that. Like so, and then I believe that's it. Yes, okay, so now we're ready to take out the controller. Okay, we're gonna take the controller off the down tube. Um, I use a three mil Allen key. Uh, if you like, you can take the water bottle off. Um, that'll give you a little more room here. But essentially, you just put your Allen key like so and undo the six bolts that are holding the controller in place. Okay, so I've disconnected five of the six bolts holding the controller onto the down tube. And I'm just boosting off the sixth and that will allow us once I take that out to remove the controller completely. One more connection. That was hiding. And there you go, the old controller. This is our new controller and I'm just going to slide it into place where we took the old controller from and this is the easiest way to do that. And then the next step of course would be to secure this with our six bolts. So I'll go ahead and do that but we don't need to film that. So now we're gonna hook up our cables and they essentially go back the way you took them out. So you'll be able to visually see what goes where. red and red, for example. That was black and black. Yellow and or orange. And orange. Right there. Well, one thing you want to keep in mind when you're putting these back together is they've got slots and that opening there where the slots fit into. You want to make sure you line up those slots with the opening. That's very, very, very important. I can't stress that enough. So line it up and then that will allow you to clip it together. Make sure those slots are lined up with the opening. Once again, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but you've got the opening there and the slot there, so we want to line that up to connect it properly. Same thing with this one. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're almost all connected. Okay, so on the main power cable when you're hooking it up, I mentioned earlier that you have the indicators and what they are, they are on there. They're little black arrows, one on each side. I don't know if the camera can actually pick that up, but there's one there. You'll be able to see them with your eyes when you get to this point. You just want to make sure those are lined up together and that once they're lined up, the arrows, then the cables will insert properly together. The next step is to put your uh, cables that you brought out from the down tube. You want to slide them back into the, the frame cavity. I usually like to start with the, um, with the main cable. And it'll go in nicely if you just kind of slowly work it up. Good, just like that. You don't need to go too far on that. 
And then these you can just tuck into place. Just kind of work them up slowly and gingerly. Eventually you'll get to the point where they just feed in nicely. Just kind of wiggle them, slide them in. Okay, so I've inserted all my power cables back into the down tube and now I'm just gonna make sure that they're properly secure with a few zap straps. Just by attaching, you know, four or five or six zap straps in this general area, we know that these cables aren't going to pop out on us when we're riding the bike, for example. They'll hold it in place nicely. This is usually how it will come from the manufacturer. got your uh, cables in place you want to just secure them again with a bunch of zap straps you can see I've got a few zap straps I'm just going to cut the zap straps now just to give it a nice clean look and get them out of the way be careful with your cutters you don't want to cut a cable And then you want to remember to hook up your main cable here. Um, once again, they have an, an arrow right here and an arrow right here, but the arrows are made out of a black color, so they're kind of hard to see. So I've marked, I marked it earlier for, for myself. Okay, and then I'll just attach this here, one last zap strap. Just to secure this cable to the frame. And I'll cut that off and put on the Velcro cover. So earlier we had removed the cable grommets or grommet on the down tube, this here, to allow us a little bit more freedom of movement, most particularly on this cable, the main cable, when we were trying to extract it from the down tube. Now we're just going to put the cable grommet back in the socket here. So you just want to work it, work it in there, just carefully and slowly it will eventually go back in. Well, sometimes it's a little tight, but that's okay. I think this one's already, already done there. And then the final thing is we, we took this off earlier and you basically want to put it back just to make sure that your cables are properly secure. So I'll put that back and uh, I think that's the end of this particular project. I hope it was helpful. And uh, thank you for watching this Volt bike video. If you have, if you, if you like the video, then uh, press the like button. If we get 100 likes, George will buy me some ice cream. <laughs> George is the guy that's doing the wonderful camera job. <laughs> there you go. Just like so. Don't forget to uh, 
press the like button. And thank you for uh, watching this Volt Bike video. That's Volt Bike.